So to explain in simple terms the main mistakes we make with altitude when we're flying our bebop, let me just give you the simplest scenario. For each of these, brown represents ground level, the purple line is a height of 10 metres and the red dotted line is a height of 50 metres. So 10 metres being about 30 feet, 50 metres being about 155 feet. And our bebop sets off from on the ground. Do remember, it's not relative altitude, it's absolute altitude. In other words, whether you start from the top of a mountain or you set off from the bottom of a valley or a quarry, wherever your bebop sitting on the ground, the bebop considers a zero meter, zero feet altitude. So in this situation, I fly up to five meters and fly along. For whatever reason, I may press return home. If I press return home and the bebop is below 10 meters, it will climb straight up to 10 meters and fly straight home. Once it's above the original starting point, it'll lower down to about two meters height and hover there for you to land it. All straightforward. Second scenario is one that many people, including me, have been confused about. Exactly the same scenario, but instead of climbing to five meters, I climb up to 50 meters, fly along and hit return home. If I hit return home, the bebop will not immediately drop down to 10 meters. It will maintain altitude. It only goes to 10 meters if it's under that. If it's above that, it'll maintain altitude, fly straight back home, lower down vertically above the landing zone to two meters and hover there until you want to land or fly off again. We're all fine so far. Scenario three. Those trees are 20 metres, 65 feet high. And I can see they're there. And the other side of those trees, let's say there's a pretty lake with some ducks swimming that I want to look at. So, start off from zero metres, fly up to 50, climb over the trees, go and have a look at the pretty pond, drop down to five metres, and then hit return home. It may be that I'll lose Wi-Fi signal and after a minute, or in the case of the Bebop 2, however long I've defined, 60, 80, 90 seconds, without Wi-Fi signal, it will behave as if I'd hit return home. It will climb to 10 meters and try to fly straight back home. And this is not good. So if there are obstacles around you, between you and the bebop, there is a significant risk in dropping below the line of those obstacles on the other side. In case you have to hit return home, it will only climb to 10 meters and you will hit it. Scenario four is something that happened to me. And the thing to note is the bebop sitting there at zero meters. I could see those trees and I knew they were about 20 metres tall because I'd walked around them. So I set the bebop to a, a free flight route, up oh, nice and high wandering round, but made sure I kept to 40 metres above those trees, not realising that the gr ground climbs about 20 metres between me and the trees. So I flew up to 50 metres and happily had a poodle round, looked at the nice views, took some rotating shots. And the bebop dropped down, as I required it to, to 40 metres. And if those trees were at the same level as where I set off from, I'd have been fine, but they weren't. The ground they were on was already 20 metres high. So my straight back line of sight flight the nasty. Hope you found that useful. Happy flying.